Hello and welcome everyone to the 13th session of Hallo Casa. Today I'm here with Richard Larbi from Accra, Ghana, who will talk about real estate in Ghana and the market in general and new investment opportunities in Ghana. Um, Richard has a huge experience obviously in the sector since he has been living for uh, several years in Ghana and will talk about um, this very interesting and also in exciting sector and country. Uh, Richard, uh, why don't you just introduce yourself to our audience a little bit, talk about yourself and yeah, uh, also talk a little bit about what your business is about. Uh, I'm Richard Amon Labi from Ghana, West Africa. So um, Richard, what are you dedicating yourself to? Uh, I'm now dedicating myself to the real estate market and the farming aspect of the economy, business, in terms of business. Okay, perfect. Um, tell us a little about or describe to someone like me who has never been to Ghana, Ghana as a country. So what is Ghana about? Um, what is the beauty about Ghana? And um, maybe also about the beginning with the, with the geography and the, and the nature? Okay. Ghana is um, in West Africa, between Togo, Mali, and Cote d'Ivoire. It is also near to Nigeria. Ghana has a population of about 30 million people. Uh, we have 10 regions in Ghana. I'm now in Accra, Greater Accra region. Uh, how the country is expanding in terms of economy books and then democracy. There is a pressure on the government to expand and extend the region to other areas that I think is also good for other investors. Like we have uh, new regions now. We have the OT region, the Bono East region, the Savannah, and then the North, Western North, and then the Northeast region, which are all areas that have called for infrastructure expansion and other stuff okay perfect uh, yeah go ahead sorry yeah ghana is normally an agreeing agreeing economy ghana is uh, depend on more raw material and has a lot of mineral base that has attracted a lot of investment from abroad we have oil discovered oil about three years ago. It's helping the economy to also expand. Okay. The people are very, the people of Ghana are very hospitable as well. So everybody who comes to Ghana never wants to return. <laughs> <laughs> that is why in twenty nineteen it's cool. Uh, go on CNN, it was a dear Ghana as the fourth best tourist destination because of the Afrocentric and then the African and American and other foreigners willing to know the huge cultural stuff of Ghana. You, perfect. You mentioned that people are returning from uh, from uh, other countries uh, back to Ghana um, to to invest in uh, in Ghana. Can you um, can you talk a little bit more about that? Like, um, who are those people, and what are also their their ideas and their their plans in in Ghana? Yeah, these people mostly are Europeans, Americans. The automobile companies and real estate, and as well as aqua fishing, and then the oil industry. For so you mean European individuals, U.S. Ameri U.S. American individuals who are coming, or you mean companies? Yeah, we have a giant 
automobiles as well from Asia, yeah. India, automobiles like uh, from Japan also, and then VW is trying to set up uh, recently VW Angela Merkel the the German Chancellor came to Ghana, yeah, and there was an idea of setting up a um, VW assembly plant here, mm -hmm. followed with a Nissan company from Japan. It's also setting up a assembly plant here, and then the Sino Track Co from China. So all these indicators shows how the economy and the trust they have in the Ghanaian economy, and as well as as the stable democracy, the beautiful and hospitality hospitality nature of the Ghanaian people. That's very interesting. So, in fact, a lot of foreign direct investment is, is pouring right now in, into Ghana. And people and, uh, and governments have, have, have been um, setting up uh, new agreements to, to invest in Ghana. Um, is there a particular region where this is happening? Um, is that around uh, Accra metropolitan area or is, there, is that around uh, um, a different area? Accra is the original capital of all, and you know it's centralized. Everything is centralized here, but it is scattered all over the economy in the country. The mining sector that is in Ashanti region and the western region, mm -hmm. and as well as eastern region. Uh, we also have the. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. We also have the uh, oil uh, exploitation sector that is in the western region, mm -hmm. the water basin that is around Brown, Brown East, and then the new OT region, mm -hmm. and then the water region around Keita. Okay. That, caused, that has attracted a lot of foreign nationals and foreign direct investment from Mostly Europeans, companies like Cosmo, Toyota, um, uh, Shell, BP, British Petroleum, all interested in the oil sector. Mm -hmm. And then we have the mining sector that has attracted a lot of. Formerly, you know, we recently had a problem with uh, Galamse and the government through that measures to actually see how it's going to control the manners of illegal mining. Yeah. But now all the legalities have been formed and people are and new companies are coming in to conform to the legalities and start a very big, huge mining uh, infrastructure that mining deposit that we have in the country. And moreover, in real estate, there's a lot of Europeans who have invested in the real estate, like uh, the Bellagio, mm -hmm. this morning, from this morning, I think it's from Brazil, and other American investors as well. And they, Real estate business is actually booming because of the way the stable economy, the hospitality nature that the country is actually enjoying. So, so those r real estate and hospitality, now, especially uh, yes, real estate and hospitality. Those when we talk about the building industry, the real estate. It's now expanding very high because Ghana, most Ghanaian workers are expanding from uh, developing uh, from the middle income status. They are actually reaching the middle income status. So there has been a high demand for housing. Um, the Ghanaian economy, the expansion of the Ghanaian economy has deemed in for more demand for real estate in terms of mortgaging outright buying and then renting okay so um are more families are they buying or are they renting houses in in ghana what is more common um more are renting 
a high percentage are also buying. Okay, interesting. So when they buy, do they um, does it work normally, um, as I know it from Europe or, or from the US, that they get um, you know I buy and then I go to the bank and I and then I get a mortgage, I guess, correct? Yes. Now, just a year ago, they introduced the mortgage system that you can buy and then go to the bank. The bank buys for you and then the bank pays the estate developer. Okay. And uh, do you know the required down payment for that? Yes, the required down payment ranging from the location of the flat or the estate or the property ranges from between $35,000 for two bedroom apartments in an estate story buildings to $70,000 to $100,000. Okay. But this is normally also a percentage, I assume, of the entire value of, of the real estate, correct? Yes. Okay. The, uh, the banks actually pays the real estate company at right, and then it's, it's offset the mortgage for the uh, client who, who the customer, yeah. they pay into the bank. So it takes the risk of the estate developers. Yeah, makes sense. Um, you mentioned before some interesting things concerning Villaggio and other international uh, corporations concerning the hospitality industry. What are those locations they are right now investing? Where where is that? Is there right now a hotspot in Ghana where most of the of the of the companies are investing? Yes, uh, most of the company in terms of the real estate are actually in investing in the construction. Materials, the land acquisition, property, land sales as well, and then the properties, the real estate, like um, skyrocketing building, and then complex duplex houses, luxurious apartments, and others. Okay. And and region wise is there is there a certain is there a certain area where apart from Accra where uh, right now a lot of um, investment going on like a certain certain state or certain department where a lot of um, a lot of investment is going on yes um, an area like in the east uh, in the eastern region mm -hmm. The northern region is also expanding very well. The capital of the northern region is the Tamale. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a lot of investment in terms of real estate and then uh, property lease. When I talk about property lease, it's about people build this morning and go, they build skyrocketing buildings and then they lease it to the corporations and businesses around at the very lucrative profit okay um you mentioned before that also like european or um, u.s american celebrities and individuals they're coming back to ghana to yes. to, live, to live there um tell us a little bit more about, yes. about that yes um we have um with Mali having a studio in uh, the eastern region of Ghana. And then I don't know whether you know about this American musician of a whole lot of them. Okay. Um who was married who was married to Damien Mali. They are all having properties and businesses over here. Okay. The Bali family. Go ahead, sorry. We have a lot of um, artists, actors and art actresses also having to come here to get to know much about the country. And as I said earlier on, looking at the inflow of tourists who came into the country this year, 
CNN credited Ghana is going to be the fourth largest tourist destination coming 2019. And yeah. um, in the be in the beginning, you mentioned uh, there's a lot uh, going on concerning investment in in companies in the oil sector, in raw materials, um, and companies like Shell and stuff. Um, are there any other sectors uh, like um, I read that there's also going right now uh, on a lot with uh, the RIC uh, telecommunication company and the and the tech sector? Um, how is that developing? And um, is there also, let's say, a new generation coming up, which uh, is not directly into the oil and the raw material sector, but most maybe also developers and 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 highly educated people uh, working in different uh, sectors other than 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 oil and gas. Yes, the high class of uh, people working in the oil and gas sector, the estate raw materials. We have a very huge deposit of limestone in a town in the savannah region called Bupe. Mm -hmm. That when you invest, when a, an investor wants to take up an investment opportunity, you can actually invest over there because of the high demand for raw materials like cement, iron rods, and stuff. And and other other sectors than uh, than raw material like technology sector, uh, anything else? What's going? How does that look uh, like right now? Yeah, you know, Ghana Ghanaians are very keen to technology. So a lot of people are highly educated, and then a lot of people are highly abreast with modern technologies like. Uh, the telecommunication technology. There is about currently about five or six telecommunication company, including Vodafone from UK. And and those are those are mainly um, located in Accra, I assume. Yeah, they are almost scattered everywhere. They, but they have their headquarters in Accra. Okay, so apart from Accra, what else for interesting? or let's say right now also maybe faster growing metropolitan areas do we have which is growing faster than Accra? Currently we have uh, Tamale that is in the another metropolis that is growing very fast and in the western region we have the Takradi because of the oil industry expansion in the western region. Okay, um, now talking a little bit more about um, Ghana as a travel destination. So um, you have a lot of tourists coming from all over the world. What are the main yeah. what are the main activities and the main destinations for tourists when they when they when they travel to Ghana? Okay, yeah, you know, Ghana has a lot of museums and castles that were built by their colonial masters, not only Britain, but there were other trade, European traders who came in to establish a business relationship during the old days of the Gold Coast. And all these monuments are available. There are other sightseeing like the canopy, Kakum canopy, as you can see, have a great view of animals coming live from the forests and other savanna areas. Then we also have fresh water, like the waterfalls, a lot of beautiful waterfalls that people come around to see. And also the castor stuff. The culture, we have a very rich culture that has been so many generations old, as old as the old Ghana Empire, some are that way from the Nubia and then the Egyptian colonial days. Okay, great. 
super interesting and I definitely uh, one of my uh, one thing or some one of the things on my bucket list definitely is to travel to Ghana and to travel the the entire um, maybe if I make it but to travel the entire um, West African uh, African coast one time but I think this is a huge undergoing um, so Concerning your business and your services, um, tell us a little bit more about uh, what you're doing. If, for example, someone from uh, from Europe or from a different country, from from uh, from any other country, is interested to um, to buy real estate or to make business with Ghana, what for services do you offer personally? Yeah, we offer uh, a very areas that. We think uh, uh, is uh, the client demand because you know we have the luxury apartments, then we have apartment for middle income, and we also look at a very suitable location that, depending on the scenic interest of the the uh, property buyer or the investor. So when you say um, you have some apartments, some luxury apartments, and some 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 medium income apartments, where are those are located? Are those um, located rather in an urban area or on the t countryside, or do you have several ones? And also, what pricing uh, would I have to uh, estimate um, when I when I when I talk about an investment in Ghana? Yeah, um, we have one at the Ada Estuary that is closer to the lakeside. That is also a very beautiful place. It depends on where the estate property buyer really would like to actually live. The countryside is a beautiful scene. And you know, the city is also populated. Yeah. So it will depend on the interest of the distance. But the properties are ranging between $35,000 to, let's say, $200,000, depending on the location. I, I read before that there are some, let's say, obstacles uh, for foreigners to invest in Ghana. Um, it's uh, not that easy. I cannot just go to Ghana and say I want to buy this property. Do you know the process which I would have to undergo, or let's say parts of it, doesn't have to be the entire process, but what is important if I want to, to buy, or even can I even buy as a foreigner in, in Ghana? And if so, um, how can I achieve it? Yeah, property, formerly there were bottlenecks on the, what people used to term the nuisance tax. Uh, currently, the government has removed all those nuisance uh, news taxes. and then Nuisance tax, you say? Yeah. That is how I would close our term is as a businessman. So all those news and taxes have been cleared off and it is making paving way for that is what is has led to more inflow of foreign direct investment. Like the Nizan investment, the VW and the Sino Truck. Okay. But as a as an individual, can I buy properties, or is it that uh, that um, I would have to go via a company or b uh, create a corporation and and go go via that, or do I need a local, um, at least one local partner, uh, with who I can partner? Uh, if you actually want to buy a property, you don't need uh, any local partner to to acquire a property. But for you to get much knowledge and much information about the property, you actually need an expert. Yeah. That's where That's we that. property leasing can help. Absolutely. I, I totally agree, and I, I definitely um, uh, think the same. I just want to ask, like, okay, you know, legally, can I, as a foreigner, be the owner of a real estate property in Ghana or is it that I there are some countries where they say no you know the, the owner can never be a foreigner the owner always has to be uh, 
Ghanaian ci uh, ga uh, a citizen from a from a certain country, uh, be it whatever it is, and then no, uh, that is not in Ghana. We don't have that in Ghana. You don't have that. Okay, that's great. Unless when you want to open a company or build a company, you need a partner, Ghanaian partner, to actually establish that. Okay, interesting. So how would be then the process if I if I'm interested, you know, I find a real estate listing, I, I'm interested to to um, to uh, I, I contact you. How would be the process? Um, I do I get some papers? Uh, do I how, how does the due diligence also w uh, look like? Can I can I analyze the papers? Can I uh, do we then also go to 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 notary and sign all the papers? How does that w look like? I think, we, I think we just broke up. Yes. Okay, now we are back again. Until when did you hear me? Yes. Can I hear you now? Yes. I can hear you. Perfect. Okay. So, um, my question was that um, how how does the process to, to buy property or real estate look like in Ghana? If I, let's say, I find a real estate listing and then I, I contact you, how, how would the steps look like? Yes, first uh, you need to tell us uh, the kind of building you want, where you actually want it. If you want us to choose it, you choose a scenic place that you like, like a riverside or closer to the sea or in the interland or maybe the city. Then after that, we will give you different properties that you choose from. So after choosing from, we go and see that. We send you, or you come down to come and actually see the properties yourself. Then you, you describe your mode of payment, whether you want to pay outright cash or you want to mortgage. Mm -hmm. depending on depending uh, on your choice yeah okay and then i i can see the papers of the of the property like the property history and the deed and and all the previous owners or how, how does that look like yeah you can see the property uh, details and then owners, owners of the property most of the time the owner is direct most of the there are more estate that is owned by the estate companies. Only few are owned by the individuals who okay. are actually related to their property. Okay. And and then the next step is, uh, to, let's say, I, I'm i happy with the papers, I'm happy with the price. Uh, what's the next step? I also go to the, to the notary or we... Um, we sign it somewhere else. We go to the town hall, hall or is there a reg re registry um, uh, where we have to go to? No, you sign the contract and then uh, negotiation on the transfer of document goes. That is by the land commission of the country. Land commission, okay. That's where the transfer of the the land title goes to. Okay. And and then um, after certain uh, after some days, maybe some weeks, sometimes the the processing takes some while. Then once I have transferred the money, then the title goes to me, and then we we uh, we we settle it. Okay. How about? Let's say I own the property and then I decide to rent it out. So okay, you know, I don't. It's for me an investment property. I don't want to necessarily live in it. Can I do that as a foreigner? Yes, you can rent out the property. Which okay. And um, would, for example, are also people like in Ghana? 
are, are there also those people like property managers and uh, people helping me renting it out and I don't have to be present in Ghana? And would you also do that? Sure, sure, we do that. Okay. So can, us, can you talk a little, little bit about your services, what you do, like how, how the property or your property management services look like? What, uh, what do you take care of? Um, how also um, would the payment goes? Like, would I then have um, a bank account in Ghana or would you transfer? Let's say you, you make sure that the tenant is paying the money, the rent, and then would the money go directly to my account or do you, do, do you manage it that it goes to your account and then transfer it to mine? How does it normally work? Uh, mostly the property owner pay the service to us the services fee and the customer pays the money directly into the property owner okay got it and then it might be either a foreign bank account so i use my i give my foreign bank account or i even have if i if i have a, um, a bank account in ghana i would then also provide my bank account in ghana okay got it yeah, yeah. Okay, no, yeah. Bank, a bank account in Ghana is very like operating any bank account everywhere in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I imagine. Um, back, back to some some interesting topics concerning Ghana right now and infrastructure projects. Do you yeah. know um, some right now some infrastructure projects going on in Ghana? Which you can talk about? Yeah, there are a whole lot of infrastructure projects going on. As I earlier just talked to you about, uh, I, I talked about the oil discovery and then how it has impacted on the economy. It has also led to high, very high infrastructure deficits. So perfect, uh, Richard. Um, yeah, thank you so much for all the details you you covered. I think it's um, it's, a, it's obviously a super interesting country. Um, I am definitely. I think most of the readers have uh, also realized that I'm definitely not very knowledgeable about Ghana, unfortunately, because I have not traveled uh, there. I I know the basics, so that's why for me I really appreciate any expert call for someone local and i prefer to to ask questions which mi might be uh which might be basic or dumb to some uh, listeners but for me it's it's uh, still always super important to to understand um also the details richard thank you so much for your time today uh, i really appreciate it um you're welcome t tell me um how can um listeners reach out to you and how can they find you if if they want to t contact you yeah, I will send my contact to you, and then, uh, okay. if I... and and then I will I will put it into the YouTube description, so so people can uh, uh, contact you directly. Yes, you can also find me on LinkedIn, Richard Amwan Labi. Perfect. Yeah, uh, Facebook, Richard Amwan Labi. Okay, and then you can uh, co uh, also create obviously a Hello Casa profile, and people can can uh, directly contact you. You. Um, yep. Uh, sure. once, once we open Ghana, which would, should not um, take too long anymore, which we are very excited about. And then we are, we are um, yeah, people can directly chat with you. Perfect. Uh, Richard, thank you so much for your time today. Um, have, a, have a great day and uh, we keep in touch. Uh, pleasure is mine. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.